Now listen, I'm just here to remind you to stay in a child's place. Don't you understand when you know that God is your father, you will indeed understand that you're the child and that it is not your job to figure out how things are going to work out. It's not your job to figure out how the bills will get paid. It's not your job to figure out how things are going to what? turn out. No whatsoever. Why? Because that's your daddy's responsibility. And that's how God has designed us to be, to rely on him. Listen, whenever you are not in a child's place with God, then you will try to do things on your own, which means when you will try to make a reputation for yourself. In other words, you'll try to do things in your might and in your power. And you'll soon find out, just like the prodigal son found out, that you need God. You need your father. Listen, Philippians 2 and 7, let me read it to you. It says this about Jesus. But he made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. Then it says this, verse 8, And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Listen, this explains to you how a child is. It talks about being humble, being obedient, all of that, not making a reputation for yourself. Jesus did not come on this earth talking about, hey, y'all, listen, y'all know I'm God in the flesh. <laughs> yes, I am. So listen, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. No. Anytime somebody was asking Jesus, what was he doing? He was saying, what? I am about my father's business. He was not out here trying to promote himself so that he can be recognized. What he did, he allowed the vessel that he was in to be used by who? The father. That's why he said, I can only do what I see my father do. Which means he, he was saying, it ain't got nothing to do with him. Nothing to do with his flesh. It's all about the father and me. That's why he said, when you have seen me, you have seen the who? The father. But the only way you can get to that place is knowing your place. Which is what? Being God's child. And when, like I said, you know who your father is and you know that you're only the child, then you won't worry about how things will work out. You won't be in a situation trying to figure out how you're going to pay your bills, okay? How you're going to get healed. How this, that, and the other is going to get taken care of. You won't live your life trying to figure out how it's going to work out. Why? Because you already know that it is done. Why? Because your father got you. Your father got you. And he takes care of your every need. He says, healing is the children's bread. But when you're over there trying to make a reputation for yourself, thinking that you can get it done, then you'll be trying to figure out how you can get healed, spending all your money, when you could just go straight to the source, your father. Straight to the source. That's why he says, I'm your shepherd, and you shall not want. So go to the shepherd. But there's a way you have to go to him. You have to humble yourself. The word of God says those that exalt themselves, which means they're not humble. God said they are a base. But those who humble themselves, God said that he exalts them. The word of God said, if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves. That's the first thing. If they would just humble themselves, realize their place in me. That they are the child and I'm their father. That's the first step you have to do is humble yourself, know it, knowing that it's not by your might, not by your power, but only by the spirit of God. And when you let God work in you in that fashion, you will never worry about another thing in your life at all. Like I said, you already know that it is done. God got you covered in every arena. Okay, so stay in a child's place. Don't try to get grown. If I had known better when I was younger, I probably would have stayed with my mom a little bit longer 
and saved up some money and took my time doing everything. But guess what? Your girl was out here trying to make a reputation for herself. So I was like, as soon as I graduate, I'm getting out this house because I want to do what I want to do. And guess what? I got at the house and I was doing what I wanted to do. But I realized it was show enough hard. It was real hard. So being in Christ, I understand Jesus ain't going nowhere. God, I'm staying under your shadow. I ain't going nowhere. I need you to do everything. I ain't trying to lift a finger because your words say it is you that work in me. So I ain't got to be doing no work. Okay. I am retired. Okay. Why? Because it is finished. You got to know your place. And our place in God is being a child. I got to go. Y'all know I love you. But most of all, Jesus loves you too and more. Let me tell you a funny thing. Yesterday, God gave me this message, okay, on Saturday. Today, Sunday, as I was getting dressed and whatnot, I ended up putting this bow in my head. And I said, I'm going to wear some overalls. I wasn't even thinking about the golden nugget, okay, talking to y'all. I knew I was going to give y'all the message, but it wasn't even crossing my mind at that time. And by the time I got dressed and looked in the mirror, I realized I looked like I was in a child place. Yeah, a grown adult with a big old bow in her head. But guess what? I don't care because I'm the child of the king and so are you. So stay in that place so that God would do what he said he would do concerning you, okay? Live in privilege in your inheritance. I love you again. Be blessed. Ciao.